All right, we're heading out, we're going fishing. Well, we got a lot of action this morning. It's snowing, which is pretty typical, but we had a school bus on the road stuck on the power lines that were hanging low from getting the ice and the snow on them. Looks like they got that out. We got snow plows, but we got a little bit of a late start, but we still want to stop and get some coffee, so we need it. Thank you. Oh, nice. There you go. Oh, yeah. I'm a sucker for ham and cheese croissants. <laughs> okay. Just another day in Alaska. A moose on a trailer. If you have your shopper's card, scan it now. Five dollars for mail one. Okay, quick stop at Freddy's for bait, and we're ready to go fishing. We're here, and we haven't been to this lake before. We thought we were going to have to walk or otter sled in with our fishing gear, but it looks like folks have been driving on this lake. There's not that much snow on it. I think it's been really windy. So we're gonna take a gamble and we're gonna head out there and see what we can do. It's nerve wracking. We do not like driving on lakes in the truck, you know what I mean? Because it's so heavy, but it makes it a lot easier when you're fishing and we can move around today since we got the truck, it's easy. But we got the otter sled, let's drill some holes. I don't think we need this, there's no snow out here. Let's drill. <laughs> we had, the ice is getting thick this year and we did buy an extension so I almost had to put this on that's pretty thick ice I almost hit the top but this gives us an extra 18 inches so the ice gets thick up here we got that one let's get another one what do you think sure. where do you want yours at here, What do you think, one of these with some egg or bait? Like a, like I'm gonna one. use the secret weapon. Seems. I can't tell you what that is. One. Let's do this with a shrimp. Oh, that's nice. No worm, just a shrimp. That's a nice looking one. 
Oh my gosh. Hey, Eric's got our holes dug. And this one's 15 feet. I don't know how deep the next one is. We're thinking pretty shallow. We want to say pretty shallow. This lake only has two kinds of fish, which is Arctic char and rainbows. They are stocked, so they're not probably going to be massive. I've done a little research, but honestly, it's been a tough winter and we're just looking to have some fun and catch some fish. So we're going to get our lines in the water. Nice clear water, huh? Should be fun. This is a kind of a cool place to fish because like Errol said, these fish are a little smaller and I really enjoy using like little jig heads, kind of like the one I have on or kind of little colorful ones like this. And we're gonna use some bait today. You can use bait on this lake. We have brined shrimp, which are pink. We have some salmon eggs, which are like a, just a little red egg. And then we got something new and those are large mealworms. And I think they might be alive. They were in the refrigerator, but We'll see, we'll see what we catch. Hmm, pretty good. There you go, Ariel. You're set. All right, I'm gonna use a mealworm. Oh my gosh. Look at this guy. He's freaking out. That's the one. It's frozen already. There it goes. The shrimp's a lot heavier. Is it dropping pretty good for you? Yeah, look at it. Nice. I mean, not fast, but way quicker. Looks like the shrimp, it's probably gonna be the the one that works. They, I think I just, I haven't even had this in here 30 seconds and a fish, little fish, already tapped it and he's been, he's been biting it and I think he was on for maybe a second, but we'll see if he comes back. He, he likes it, he likes the color. I don't wanna let him touch the ice. Oh, it's a rainbow. Yeah. Well, I'd say this is dinner size. <laughs> I knew he was tiny. I might need a little pliers to get him. Oh, he's just barely hooked. Okay. Look at him. Look at how cute he is. Oh, beauty, huh? That is beautiful. Wow. A good six or seven inches. Do you got any pliers? Good job, honey. Okay. He's back in. We're hoping for, hoping for something a little more sizable for eating. <laughs> They job. like they like the bait. I I'm switched gonna, to the shrimp, so I'm gonna try eggs. I switched to the shrimp. Immediately got a bite. They, uh, apparently, they like really flashy stuff out here. So we'll see if he comes back. It felt pretty small too. Oh, thank you. Thank you. They keep stealing our bait, so this shrimp is pretty delicate stuff. I'm gonna put this new jig on. Look at that one. That's got the treble hook. So I can hook the shrimp on there. Uh, let's just hook it on there twice. Okay. Your first fish! Yay! Look, mom, I caught a fish. Is it rainbow too? Yeah, look how big his eyes are. They're just little, little nibblers. Let's get him back in. The ones in my pool, I think, were a little bigger. Hold on, little guy. Okay, hold on. As I can. Right in the hole. <laughs> oh, yeah, here, there he is. There he is. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's a bigger one. <laughs> here, that's a much bigger one. <laughs> All right, that's a record for the day, like an eight-incher. <laughs> well, the shrimp fall off the hook. Extremely easy. They've only bit the shrimp. So I took a little piece of a pink rubber worm, about the same color as the shrimp and about the same size, 
and they're biting it. So I think we figure out that they, they like the pink. And, oh yeah, they're biting. And this stays on a lot better. It's rubber, it's not gonna fall off. Let's see if we can get one. You have no bait. Just a piece of pink rubber. <laughs> just a piece of pink rubber. Yeah, here, I'll show you, look. I know, you just have a, a just that. worm. It looks like a shrimp, but it's a... They're responding to the color. Tell me why you picked a blizzard in the water. Oh my gosh, the weather turned. It's, it was about 16 degrees, but I don't know, it feels a lot colder. I think it's because of all this wind we got and obviously snow, but cold day out here. Nobody out here today. I picked today, so not you. I thought I was. Oh yeah, you did pick today, huh? Nice sizable chunks coming down, huh? It's actually snowing pretty good, yeah. Yeah, it's, it said right around one. I mean, I knew it was gonna happen. Happen a little sooner. Hey, honey, I got a bite. You did? Yep. We're having fun out here, even though these fish aren't very big at all. Um, sometimes we just, we spend a lot of time fishing and sometimes you don't catch fish. I know we all know how that's, that is how it is, but it can be a little discouraging when you go out, you know, a long ways and you spend a lot of effort, even though there's always the experience, but this has been really fun. Just catching these little guys and just getting to feel them at the end of the pole. I know tomorrow's supposed to be a little bit of a better day and I think it's definitely declining today so I'm not sure I'm not sure how long we're gonna make it out here and that's the setup that we have right now they seem to be responding to the pink pretty well and it doesn't fall off like those shrimp were falling off oh. yeah look at this color that is freaking golden hold on let me see that thing that is really Beautiful. Pretty. Well, the little pink tube was working, but then it stopped. So I put shrimp back on, immediately got this little guy. I think the technique that's working the best is you really got to be on your pole. And if you feel a nibble, you really got to set it. And you, you miss a bunch of them and you lose a bunch of bait, but it's still a lot of fun. It really doesn't look like a normal rainbow trap. Barely had him hooked. Oh, there he is. I know. But how it was. Yeah, he's on there. It's a small one, I think. Oh, yeah. Look at him. Look at that one. See how that one doesn't have the... It doesn't uh, have the gold. Yeah. Hey, good thing we uh, have a 10 inch auger, right? These tanks will easily fit through the hole. <laughs> the bite is extremely... Well, it's going fast. So I'm going to put a little shrimp on here and see how long it takes to get one of these little suckers. We haven't got anything big enough to eat, which, yeah, is what it is. But they're just they're just little guys. This is a ton of fun to catch them. This shrimp we bought I think is really old because it's falling apart. Let's see let's see how long it takes. They're down there. There he is. Yep. There we go. Oh, the smallest one you've got. That is the smallest one. That is a beauty. Beautiful though, yeah. So when they stock this lake, they stock them with all different sizes and they usually put a lot of the little ones, you know, and they can kind of grow big in here. Oh, sorry, little guy. There he goes. Down with the wind. <laughs> that was what, like six seconds? Three inches? No, that was probably a 20, good 20 seconds. Oh. <laughs> That's pretty good, eh? Oh my gosh, my hands. We've yet to get the char to buy or anything bigger, so I switched Eric switched this to a spoon and we're gonna see we're gonna see what that does. No bait, just a spoon. I know there's bigger fish in here, so that's what we're looking for. Oh yeah, that's flashy. Like yeah, just like a crazy man. Look at that. Such cool fish. They're getting bigger. That's the biggest one. I mean, it's still pretty small, but that's a good sized fish for here, right? Look at that guy. That's the biggest one. That's the biggest one. Awesome. I'd say it's steadily getting better. It's getting better, yeah. Hold on, little guy. Hold on. Yeah, it's brutal. I know. You want to give it a little longer? Okay, I got a big one. I got a big one, yep. Oh God, he's a fighter. Oh my gosh, he's a big one. Nice. Oh, 
Oh gosh, don't lose that tension. Don't lose that tension, man. Try it, babe. Oh, that's a nice. Oh that's my gosh. Oh nice my gosh. What I'm is gonna it? break the pole. I'm gonna break the pole. No, don't break the pole. Don't freaking break the pole. I'm pretty sure it's a don't, fish. Don't. What else? It's Wait, a huge, don't. huge rainbow. Nice. Huge rainbow. Nice. Huge rainbow. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. That's a little bigger than those little ones. Oh my, oh my gosh! <laughs> that is a tank! Look at that! Area. That is huge! Gorgeous copper color. <gasps> oh, I can't even. That is insane. I cannot believe I just caught that. You thought it was gonna break the pole. It was. It was. I saw the pole. This pole is so cheap. We bought the cheap ones. It almost broke it right there. I felt it starting to snap. I had to grab it right there. That's super nice to know. <gasps> <laughs> what a beauty! Yes! I would say that we could eat this one. What do you think? <laughs> oh, oh my gosh! That's the biggest rainbow I've ever caught. That's the biggest rainbow you've ever caught. Okay, that did him or her. That's what I caught him on this little tiny jig. And I took a whole piece of shrimp this time, kind of wrapped it around the hook and hook it, hooked it on all the hooks. And I was getting multiple little tiny bites and I was trying just to get him, trying to get him. He came by, or she, whatever it is, and inhaled it. So that was on a piece of shrimp and a little snow on her, I gotta clean her off. That's a nice fish. I don't know if I have my tape measure or not. Look at this, look at that beauty. Golden. I think that's about 18 inches long. I, we didn't bring our tape measure. So we'll find out, but that's, I think it's the biggest rainbow I've ever caught. Ariel's caught one bigger than that. We were gonna cook it out here on the ice, but the wind chill out here and the snow is just making things unrealistic. So we're gonna keep fishing and then uh, we'll kick him up later. Awesome fish. Okay. <laughs> he jumped in the hole. I was a little bigger. You know what I did on that? I was fishing way deeper. I'm, I'm gonna try to fish deeper and see if they get a little bit bigger fish down there. Well, we finally did it. We caught another fish. It's a char, um, a little one, nice thin one. So I'm gonna be putting him back. Hopefully I can catch a bigger one. That's pretty neat. That's the first char I've ever caught in Alaska. Cool, he took my shrimp. Have you caught him other places in the world? No. Oh. <laughs> the weather's definitely starting to decline. We're going to head home and take our beautiful fish with us that Eric caught. I'm definitely happy for him. I didn't catch as many, but that's okay. All in all, we had a fun day out here. You're going to be taken. <laughs> Sorry. Ooh. Okay.
We're cooking up our fish. Still so excited with this beautiful rainbow trout. Measured it, it came in at 18 and a quarter inches. We're gonna start by roasting some garlic in a little campfire we go in. This takes the longest, probably take about 45 minutes. So let's get this in. There it goes. There's only four cloves in that so big. Perfect. Let's cook some fish. We're gonna do this how we used to do it a lot when we go camping. We got a whole trout and we've just gutted it. And we're gonna stuff it. We're gonna do some, some butter. Okay. Butter, salt and pepper, and some herbs. All kinds of good stuff in there. There's even lavender in there. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. And ginger, dried ginger. Let's go heavy on this. You gotta go heavy on the herbs when you're doing fish this way or else it, you don't really taste them. So let's do a bunch inside and out. Still stoked on this trout, but let's get it on the grill. So beautiful out here right now. It's crazy. We've been just having snow and more snow coming. Appreciate the sunshine up here. And today, I think it's uh, February 5th. We are up, I was gonna tell you this morning, we're up to eight hours of sunlight. Feels like it. We got there fast. Should take about 20 minutes. Ow! Should take about 20 minutes for this fish. Oh yeah, she's cooking. She's cooking. There we go. You're really bragging about your fish there. Heck yeah. Proud of that thing. Where's yours? You already ate it? Thank you. to get the roller. Got our, got our pita dough bread ready. Oh Looks good, eh? What do you say? Let's eat. Let's eat. I don't know what this dish is gonna be called, but it's gonna be good. This is kind of like a pita bread, I guess. I'm rolling out here. Let's get these frying up. Purpose spatula. I was done. These do not take long to cook. A little moose fat in there. Rolling around, just a, just about a minute and a half on each side. This skillet is hot. Okay, 
Okay, we gotta check this garlic out. It's super soft, so I think it's done. Oh, it smells good. Oh my gosh. That will be good. Let's get our other stuff chopped up here. Cilantro and jalapeno. All right, that last pita pocket is just about done. We gotta check that fish. And if the fish is done, we're eating. Eyes are white, that means it's done. All right, let's do this. One pita pit bread. This garlic, we wanted it to be like a, oh yeah, like a paste, look at that. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. I gotta try some of this aerial, I'm sorry. This is so good. I'm pretty sure the best part is that roasted garlic. Bo, come here, you smell the fish? There you go, Errol. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Oh my, look at it, look at it, I how know, it smears. I know, I saw it, it's look good looking stuff, man. Are you looking at that? It is, it's a paste. Try that. It's good, it's very good. I like the jalapenos a lot. Fresh jalapenos, I mean, fish is good too. It can't be that. Still can't believe we got this fish. It's getting cold now, the sun's going down. Oh my gosh, did you feel that? Mm-hmm. Mm. You need anything more in there, or is that good? Is there more to the fish? To the uh, other side? Other side, we gotta flip it. Bo, what are you doing out here, dude? You smelled the fish and you came running? You know cold? It's getting cold. Um. Hey, Anthem. Here, Bo. Hmm. So it's just, are you happy with how it turned out? Mm -hmm. It's really good. It was a good dinner idea. It's getting cold out here. That's what I'm thinking. Can Bo grab the head? I don't, can he eat the cooked fish bones? No, probably not. I'll just give him a little piece of fish. Yeah, let's give it to the chickens. They'll eat it. Want it? Yummy. Yummy in your tummy. Hey, Bo. 